Hello, everyone. My God. <clears throat> okay, so I'm back with a short little update video. Um, it's December 1st. To, yeah, December 1st today, 2023. I think it's been about five or six months since my last video. This year has been uh, quite the adventure, to say the least. Let's talk about everything that has happened this year with me and my little family. Let's go. home. <laughs> I think in the last three years I lived at one, two, three. This is my fourth home in three years because I've um, started this process of fostering um, and adoption and things like that. So right now I'm going to apologize for this here and that there and all these over here. I wanted to make sure that um, I don't have any photos of any children in this video. And let's just start off there. Let's start off with um, some things I wanna to talk to you guys about. So if you've followed me for the last three years, you already know why there's no videos basically on this channel anymore. Um, I've had to make all of them private and take them down. Um, and then uh, if you're new here, you don't quite know. So let me fill you in. Uh, back in the beginning of 2023, there was um, basically the, the county, the department told me that I need to take all my videos down. I can't have any um, of the children on my on my YouTube channel. Even though I wasn't sharing their stories, their names, any identifying information or anything about them, they told me like nothing. We couldn't see their faces, none of that. But they said, we don't want any skin showing, nothing like that. So, hey, I listened and I said, okay, no problem. And I took it all down. Um, so. That's why there hasn't been any vlogging or anything this year. It was also important for me to take a break. Um, I didn't know that this break was going to have to be a year long, but every time that I realized it was going to have to be, I was content with that. I, I kind of wrestled a little bit with it, but then very quickly I realized that um, it's okay. Like there's obviously a, I, I need this time, so I knew that that's something I had to do for myself. Um, so I made an effort to put, I think one, maybe two videos out this year so far, but I wanted to put another one to kind of close out this year um, and let you guys know where things are at. So that's why, if you're new here, that's why there's no videos. Um, I will return in the future at some point, fully vlogging again, but um, right now it's not the time to do that. Uh, so yeah, but let's go on. Let's go forth. What the heck is happening? Oh my gosh. So I believe I shared in the last video. If I didn't, I do have a placement right now. Um, I don't want to share if it's a boy or a girl, their age or anything like that. Uh, but I can say this, I do have a placement in my home and I've had this placement all year in my home. Um, and, and we, we are um, moving steadily ahead and things are great. The relationship that I have with the county social workers and attorneys and my FFA and their relationship with them, everything is so wonderful. It's like the most beautiful uh, 180 I've, I've ever experienced. And um, it's been such a joy and I see how everything has um, everything that transpired before now, before this year, really kind of needed to happen because it took me from being this highly, highly, highly emotional and anxiety producing person around this entire adventure of mine to bringing things more even keel and just knowing that like things are working out and they're working out in the right way as they should be. So um, another amazing thing, and I think like probably the most amazing is the relationship that I have with the biological family. Um, so, welcome to Los Angeles. So there's many times in these, these cases where it's really 
uncomfortable to get along with the biological family because they might think, you know, you're trying to steal their family member or whatever. Or maybe they're just upset about the situation in the first place, which makes sense to me because they're, you know, they're not situations that you'd want to happen in life. Um, so I get it. The, the tensions can run high. As a foster parent, you don't always know how to interact with the family, the bio family, and and maybe the bio family doesn't really know how to interact with you. And they have probably <laughs> more anxiety going on than the foster parent does. But in this situation, myself and the biological family get along so beautifully. I mean, for every holiday, we talk, we see each other, we see each other like throughout the year and, and like connect. It's giving me chills right now, honestly, to think about the amount of love and support I've gotten from the bio family and the amount of love and support that I've been able to show, show to them. Um, myself and uh, one of the grandparents speak if we don't speak every day, we speak every other day. And it's, you know, like through text message or phone call. It is, it has been the most beautiful experience I've had in this entire process. So, you know, placement is still with me. Uh, we're rocking and rolling forward. Um, and I keep getting like stuff in my, my face, hair, or some stuff. Um, and the reason I moved was because at my old place, my neighbor downstairs was having issues with literally any any sort of noise and it just escalated to the point where I realized and after speaking with like um guys I, there it is I think I got it after speaking with uh social workers and things like that I realized that the best thing for me to do to protect myself my placement and all our sanities was to just move, move again. Uh, I had this amazing two bedroom apartment that I had moved into. It was nice and big. It had a really beautiful view and balcony. Um, and it was a little sad to give that up because I felt like, you know, being 37 and I was moving up a little bit in my own life and having some more space and autonomy and things like that. Um, it took a, it was really hard to like pare everything down and um, be be humble in, in that and you know today I'm here and you know there's this great big window in front of me and I've got a sofa over here which as you can see like my kitchen and everything it's it's kind of more this room is more like a little kind of a studio in a way um, but back there we've got you know the bathroom here and a little hallway a washer dryer which is amazing because I didn't have that um, and uh, the bedroom is back there, though it's a one bedroom uh, unit, much smaller than I'm used to. But here's the thing, I knew that I needed to do this because the placement that I have right now is such a great situation that I knew, and, and regardless, regardless, like whatever the situation is with the placements I had, I knew that staying in that tension that we were in was not gonna be healthy for myself or the babies. Um, and I, any, see when you're doing this, as a foster parent, you really wanna mitigate as much stress for social workers and families as you possibly can. At the end of the day, the county is worried about one thing at the end of the day. The one thing they're worried about is the safety of the minor in your care or the minor in the bio family's care or whatever. That's what they're worried about. They're worried about that child's safety. And if that child is placed in a home where there's tension and um, you know neighbors that are getting, you know, causing problems or whatever it may be, the county can deem, well, this, this home isn't safe for that child and remove that child. So me being an adult, I said, well, I have to put down my own desires to live in this nice two bedroom apartment and move. Thank God I found this place. This is a brand new construction building. Like the, uh, I'm the first person to live in this unit as, as all the other uh, homes on this property. Um, and 
I knew I knew this landlord, this building owner, because I lived in another one of his properties, and I I love him and I love his his work. So he was like, "Yeah, come do it," you know. And the beautiful thing is, like, he said there was a woman who was gonna move in here, and last minute she bailed. So it's like it was just waiting for us. Um, and the neighbors are all amazing. I don't have any issues with neighbors here. Everyone keeps to themselves, but we're also all very friendly with each other. So that's really nice. Um, and you know, like, it's a much better situation to be in. So I'm really glad about that. And I feel like I, I feel like we have a little home here and it's a very intentional uh, place for us to land. That's basically that. Where the future's headed, um, because I'm not vlogging uh, and I acknowledge that this year has been very quiet on my channel, I want to get started again. Um, but not in the vlog. No, I'm not going to vlog things about... Obviously, I'm not going to do anything different than I did in the past as far as like sharing the child's information thing. Like that's, that's not going to happen. And if I do vlog, there will be no children even on camera. Like you'll, it just won't be there. Um, but it would be nice to vlog like um, different outings that we do, but you just unfortunately won't be able to see any children. But um, I think y'all like it because it's not like the kids could talk anyway in the past. It was really just me and sometimes I blur out their faces or whatever. So I'm hoping that I can start creating that content again for you guys and that y'all still be around and enjoy it. But it's also really important that you guys please like continue commenting in the comments to let me know the feedback that um, you, you, you have for me about some of the content. Some people reach out on Facebook Messenger and Instagram. Guys, I don't hardly ever get on those things. So please, on YouTube, I, I'm there. Comment below is the best way you can talk to me. Um, and I, I get those notifications and I respond to all of them. I just enjoy the YouTube space way better. And then the other thing I wanna do is kind of do some videos where I can use my experience and education in this entire thing to help other foster parents. Um, because there are still a lot of people that don't know that they can do this, they don't know how to do this, they, don't, they have so many questions. I didn't wanna be that channel ever. I really wanted to just do vlogging. But I think in the meantime, it might be a really good, a good way to like answer questions and give people advice and talk to people about this entire process because it is uh, nuts, <laughs> okay? Um, so that's that's basically it right now. I do do my end of year videos every year. So there will be a 2023 wrap up video of gratitude by the end of the year, okay? Right now it's December 1st and we've got like four weeks for that. Guys, truly, truly, Thank you for sticking around. If you're still subscribed, and actually, like, they're still subscribers. I'm still getting subscribers, which is freaking amazing. So if you're still subscribed, if you are going to subscribe, thank you. Thank you. I apologize that most, it's like 70 videos that I've had to remove. Um, I apologize for that. But uh, the ones that are there and the ones that are there are so old and they're so crappy and they're so, oh my God, it's embarrassing embarrassing but i'm excited to just start this again um i think more to come all right i love you guys so much bye